When you think of Escape from Tarkov, what comes to mind? Intense firefights? Rats in corners waiting for you to let your guard down? Maybe getting head eyes by scabs. I want to show you one aspect of the game you probably didn't think of. Sniping. But not just any kind of sniping. The most ruthless and difficult sniping challenge there is. This quest to complete Tarkov Shooter, Part 8, and Psycho Sniper begins on reserve, where we find our Skal making his way to the extract, equipped with an M700 that would later be used to try and get three headshots on PMCs in a row without dying. Okay, so we have completed the full build, and now the total cost is around 210,000 rupees, so let's jump in and see how life number one goes. Alright, here we go. So this is the first PMC raid, our first attempt at this, and we probably get one of the worst spawns for this, but oh well. Let's head up into the, um, up into the mountain. <laughs> Bro, why do you stand still? In the ideal situation, that guy goes up on the roof. But I don't think he did. Right here. Oh! Nice! Oh, oh my god! Alright, we need one more kill, man. And he was fighting someone, so there's a possibility we get the third here. Just have to find him. I do not care about it. Like, the, the purpose of this is not for loot. After a great start, needing only one more kill to complete Tarkov Shooter Part 8, the plan was to go back to reserve and hope we get that last kill needed. However, things took a turn for the worse and made for an intense raid. Alrighty, let's jump on in again. So we need one headshot kill for one of the tasks and this is the perfect spawn for this. And um, one just, you know, and then I think we need, uh, assuming we get that one, two more after that. Any, any body, any part of the body. We found all the players! This just went crazy, didn't it? Surprised that shot didn't hit him in the head. Bro. They just stood there. What a little... <laughs> <sighs> okay, next one, let's go. <laughs> Things had taken a turn for the worse. So close, and yet so far. Once again, we took our scav into a reserve. Alright, we're in for PMC to attempt to. I died once, so uh, let's, let's try this again. Uh, scav to, sorry. So this is the second life. I've got a fairly reasonable sized bag, so I'm going to just scoop up as much loot and leave. Hoses don't really sell well. I'll get like 13k for them. I'm gonna keep until I find something better. Ooh, out. Alright, let's just get out. There's not much else to get here. Gavs all around, each doing their own thing, so I got my loot. Having survived the scav raid, and with a renewed belief in my ability to get these quests done, the plan was to go straight back into reserve, once again, the rocks, around the radar tower, and see if we could catch anyone off guard, and get an easy pick. And we are starting. Okay, so, this time we're running APM in a VPO, so... We are actually very lethal. I want to make sure I got my quests. I did. Perfect. Let's go. So there's going to be a guy right here. Let's see if I can spot him out. Seems like he's probably already gone inside the building. I'll check over here, so. I don't see anything either. I, I will flank back, so. We'll come up and around and up to the hill. Actually, I'm not going to hit a Meldonin because I don't have food on me. Don't want to risk it. It ain't worth it for the biscuit. 
very active over near the K buildings. Kind of regret not continuing on. I could have gone up on top of one of the towers and um, seen if I could spot the people fighting Scab Boss, because I guess that's what's happening. I'd been sat here for a while and nothing really happened, so I decided I would run it back. Little did I know the raid was about to heat up. Alright, there, there's nobody around, there's nobody coming. Let's just, let's just go. Let's run it back. We've been in the raid long enough. I'll do one more check. Don't think that hit him. Dude, the minute I move, that's crazy. Nope. Bro, right there, are you serious? How do you not die? My guess is putting himself back together. Bro, he's inside that dark room. Oh my god, I just got a blood shot, man. Crazy. I made bail. I got one kill, let's just run it back. Well, we have progress. Obtaining our first kill of three helped to motivate these next few raids. And in this next raid, we make even more progress and come even closer to completing the task set out for us. All right, this is... Uh... Game two, once again, trying to complete the quest. Uh, this is a decent one. I can get up on top of this tower pretty easy and quick here. And I have a good vantage point. People don't expect it anymore. It's not very commonly done. And I'll have a vantage point down there and a vantage point for anyone behind me over to the right. it ahead let's go <laughs> dude this is such a good good opportunity here now we just need one more kill and he was shooting at someone so i'll actually keep an eye over here for a minute maybe we can spot someone out let's see something it's kind of foggy over there which i don't like to be honest he seemed geared. I think he had a killer mask on. Or to kill a mask on. If I'm not mistaken. I'm tempted to loot this guy and rotate up to the um, radio tower. No, he wasn't that geared. Looked gear more geared. Nothing else really happened this game, so I ended up just killing a scav and heading to the extract and running it back. Okay, we're in. So, okay, we're down here. I'm gonna go up into this tower. I, I should have a decent angle to see if anyone who spawned uh, out in the, the field over there, the, uh, who they might come over to us. I'll have a good angle on them. I'm gonna close the door so like it's not obvious. Hopefully I don't get spotted or anything. There is someone. Hmm. Uh, it walked very static. I think it might be just a scav. Uh, although I can't see him anywhere. All right, let's relocate, I guess. Um, no point in staying up here. So let's come over to the, um, to the train station. All right, let's get up onto this roof. I think um, I think this is the best place. I think I'm getting shot at by a scav somewhere in the cable links. So maybe I'll try and kill him. Mm 
No. Ooh. Oh, there's a person. This looks like a player. Oh, come on, stand still. Ah, oh, yes! Oh, finally, man. Holy. Okay, okay, okay. So that's, um... Uh, oh. <laughs> Broke my leg. Um, that's the first quest done, and I don't... Oh, I do have a grizzly. That's okay. That's the first quest done. Um, we can now uh, start working on a psycho sniper. So that's um, Tarkov Shooter Part 8 completed. Um, I'm hoping, I don't know, but I'm hoping I don't have to get a survive now. Let's run over and loot this guy, see what he has. Alright. This is him. He doesn't look very geared. Mm, oh, he has a trooper. Ooh, a G28. Take his tag. Ah. Interesting. I guess I have a bit more ammo for myself now. I'll take the mag out of his um, gun as well. Unload it. I would like to take the trooper out, but I don't have a bag, and I would like to take the um, the tunnel extract. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anybody at all. Might just move. I think I'm just gonna prone under here just to be as safe as I can be. Make sure I'll get out. Ooh, okay. Holy. <laughs> nice. So, we got this done. Now, we are... Um, we're going to just hand in this quest. And then come right back to reserve and, and see how it goes. Getting the next couple of... Uh, two kills. Like, we need two more for Psycho Sniper. Alright. Um, Peacekeeper... Jaeger. Jaeger, yeah. Oh, I just got a new quest from Jaeger as well. Uh, PMC's on Woods. Without using an arm? Oh my god. And there we go. So that gives me three sniper levels. And that's that. Having completed the Tarkov Shooter Part 8 was a thrilling feeling. But I wasn't letting that get to my head too much. I still needed to get two more kills without dying. Soon we would come to see this is an easier said than done task. Okay, so I was totally AFK there when we started this raid. But it's fine. I'm not too sure how I feel about this spawn. As I feel like I'm going to be caught between a rock and a hard place. I feel like there's going to be player over here. I think this is the fifth or sixth raid. We have two more PMC kills to get. We just completed the um, test drive part eight. So now we're trying to get the last two PMC kills without dying with a sniper. These don't have to be headshots, luckily. Uh, but ideally headshots because just you know, one tap them. This is him. Don't know where he went. I'll reset. Hopefully I'll get a better spawn next raid. I got myself a pistol this time just so I can take out um, scavs that are too close to me. Ooh, this is actually a fairly decent spawn. And I'm going to go straight up on the roof, because I've got lots of angles here um, to kill things. One thing I'm going to do. Nice, no, raining too much to, to look up there. Thought I would catch someone coming down here. Bro, I just missed him there. Ah! Huh? Scav boss, I'm guessing? I'm gonna think. I think I'm gonna head up to that um, to that rock and prone. Here's the hoping. We seem to be okay. Nobody shoot me yet. As long as the scav boss, if he is up, doesn't shoot me, that's great. That's a cheater, I would assume. Oh, my God. Dude, how, there's no chance that a player sees me there. That was a... Who the hell is... Is it... AI killed me? Uh. All right. Granzo, I'll chat to you in the next one.